kids, welcome to Dixie Storytime World. Let's meet Henry. Henry the Meagle and Frankie the Deschamps love to play outdoors. They're having a great time together until an unexpected accident occurs. A beautiful story written by Doreen Poulot Fleisch and illustrated by Nita Kandra. Hello, my name is Henry and I am a beagle. My best friend is Frankie, a Dachshund puppy. Frankie and I have fun chasing squirrels together in his backyard. Henry, let's chase after that squirrel, Frankie says grinning. I bet I can run faster than you. I puff my chest out. You're fast, but I have longer legs than you, which means that I can take bigger steps. So remember to pace yourself, I say. You need to keep your shoulders straight and look across the backyard if you want to beat me. Frankie and I dash after the squirrel. Frankie darts ahead like a cheetah and looks back at me laughing. Suddenly, there's a big crash. Frankie wasn't paying attention and he tripped over a flower pot. Henry, help me, he wails. I run over to him and see that he's lying on the ground. Henry, my back leg hurts. Help, he howls. The noise alerts Frankie's family, who run outside with worried faces. His mom and dad tell him that he needs to go to the vet. My heart sinks. My friend may not like going to visit the vet. Frankie looks fearful. Henry, I don't want to go to the vet. I'm afraid. I place my paw on his shoulder and ask, Why are you afraid? Lady, the collie dog that lives down the street, told me that the vet gives shots and shots hurt, he replies. Smiling hopefully, I say, You can get help from Dr. Franklin the vet. He will fix your legs so you can walk and run again. Plus, you'll get a special treat at the end of the visit. I had to get medicine for an ear infection once, and the vet gave me a big peanut butter bone afterward. I lick my lips at the thought of the delicious snack. Peanut butter bones, Frankie shouts. Those are my favourites. We have to go to the vet right away. Then his eyebrows lower again as he remembers the shots Lady told him about. I'm still a little scared, though, he says and sighs. I have an idea. I'll come with you to the vet. You are my best friend, and I want to be there for you if you feel scared. Frankie's mum and dad agree to take me along. They understand that it helps to have a good friend close by when you're scared. Henry, I want the vet to help make my legs work again so I can chase after squirrels and have fun, Frankie says, smiling again. And I want a peanut butter bone. Frankie's mum places him carefully in the car and his dad drives us all to the vet. Frankie needs extra help because he can't walk into the vet clinic on his own. Luckily, his parents have a little red wagon in the car's trunk. Lifting Frankie gently out of the car, his mum places him in the wagon. I jump in next to him and his mother pulls us through the doorway into the clinic. Yay! It's fun to be in the wagon with my best friend, Frankie says, beaming. However, Frankie tenses up when we enter the vet clinic, and I notice that he starts to shake. Be brave, Frankie. Don't you want to be able to chase squirrels again? Yes, Henry. Today I will be a courageous puppy, says Frankie. The vet comes into the room and walks towards the wagon. He carefully places Frankie on a table. The vet touches Frankie's legs softly to check his muscles and then run some tests. He has a leg sprain but no broken bones, he says to Frankie's parents. Then he attaches special wheels to Frankie's back legs to support them. The vet explains that the wheels will let him move around while his leg heals. The vet also gives Frankie some medicine to make him feel more comfortable. Frankie will need to return to the clinic in a few weeks so I can check if his leg has improved, says the vet. He also tells Frankie's parents that Frankie can walk as usual and then try some running when he feels better. 
Frankie wheels himself out of the clinic, his tail wagging happily. The vet runs out of the clinic behind us and yells to Frankie's parents, Don't forget the peanut butter treats! I jump for joy, just like Frankie. I love peanut butter bones. We both munch on the treats, enjoying every bite as we ride back to his house in the car. Frankie smiles and says, Henry, thank you for coming with me to the vet clinic. It didn't hurt that much. Going to the vet is worth it to feel better. A warm sensation rushes through my body. Helping others makes you feel great. A few days later, my friend is feeling better and ready to try running using his special wheels. Together, Frankie and I take off across his yard. I run beside him as he zips along on his wheels. Come on, Henry, Frankie says with a grin. Let's go chase a squirrel. Just be careful to avoid any flower pots this time, I reply, and we both laugh. So, kids, did you enjoy the story? Have you learned how important it is to always help our friends? I'll see you soon in another adventure. Always remember to be good, polite and kind.